Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So where am I going? I'm going to the Bahamas and I'm super excited. So I'm going to show you what I packed and maybe some tips for packing if you guys ever go on a vacation. So um, I have a duffel bag and an actual suitcase because we'll be gone for like a week and I need a lot of clothing actually because of what we have to do. So they have like fancier dinners and stuff. So I have to bring shirts that don't have any logos or anything on them. So I have this one right here. It's just kind of a simple t-shirt with a hole in the sleeve. That way I can change out of my normal day clothing and put this on instead of wearing other shirts, I guess, because you're supposed to wear more on the dressier kind of patterns and stuff. So I have three shirts that are kind of like my dinner shirts, so to speak. This is my second one. Um, these are baggy, but that's why I'll just like tuck them in or something. I have a bunch of high rise shorts. This one's just a plain blue t-shirt, so, I mean, it's nothing much to that one. Um, now, as to all of my shirts I'm going to be wearing, like, during the actual cruise and not just during the dinner, I got, I have tank tops and then I just have regular shirts. You guys have already seen this one because I did it in a haul that I did, but this one's, like, really cute. And the reason why I can't wear this during any of the dinners is because it's a tank top and my mom said that tank tops aren't allowed, I guess. So, I just have this halter that I'm going to wear during the day. And then this tank top actually comes with, like, this little cute bralette. And it's got, like, all these, like, really confusing looking straps. But it's not as confusing. But you can see the little pineapples. And then this one just has, like, a mean pineapple. But that goes on the thing goes underneath it so you can see it through like the sides and stuff so it's really cute then I got this one um I got this from Hot Topic actually I believe and it was really cool because I love Ariel so much I have a lot of tank tops actually and then I have actually a crop top surprisingly and it's bringing me the horizon nothing much just something kind of simple jersey material and then this one, I actually love this shirt a lot. Because it is what it is. See, like, you can't wear this during the dinners because it's got, like, graphics and logos and stuff on it. So. And this is one of the cropped t-shirts that I made. Well, it's not really that much cropped. But you can see the bottom has beads and stuff and it's braided and everything. And then the sides of the arms are done. And so is that. Oh, the brightness of that. Is, it's all braided. That's a tie-dye one. And then this one was the first one I did. This is more cropped. It's very baggy on me. You can see how it's cinched at the bottom, though. But that was a lot of fun. And then the sides just have, like, the same thing that my other one did. Now, we have two fancy dinners. Like, fancy, fancy dinners. It's getting hot in here. And those ones, um, I actually have some really cute dresses. I only have two because, well, there's only two fancy dinners. So those are really exciting and I'm really excited about those ones because I bought this dress during Black Friday and I love, I just got into loving velvet so much lately and it's super cute. It's just this crushed velvet halter top dress and it's super freaking gorgeous. And then I have, I'll show you guys the bralettes that I have too that I'm going to wear with some of these things. That's going to be one of the dresses. I don't know when I'm going to wear it, but I'm going to wear it for um, one of the fancy dinners. This is the second dress that I'm going to wear and because it actually looks really really cute on and I know it kind of looks like messed up here because you can't really see it and it's like cinched because I had it tied up but it's really flowy and really cute and it's super super soft and I like the colors on it so much but it's just like v-neck and it's actually kind of big on me but they don't have the perfect size fits there so then I have for shorts I have these shorts. Um, I've had these for a long time. I wear size 16s in shorts. I can wear size 15s. It just depends. If size 15. I range from 15, 16, and 17. It depends on the brand. It depends on, you know, where I get it from. Those are my favorite pair of shorts. Now, these ones are actually high-waisted, but they're, like, booty shorts. So, they are very, very short on me. If you can see, like, how short they come up and... They're, they roll, they unroll themselves. But these ones are super freaking cool. Now the only thing that I have to say about short shorts on me, because I have thick thighs, obviously. I'm not thin. 
um, you have that friction. So if you get like baby powder, deodorant, I've heard deodorant works and it keeps it from like rubbing and hurting. So if you just rub some deodorant on your thighs, I heard it helps. I don't know if it helps. I've never tried it, but I probably will. And then these ones are actually DIY'd and you guys can see a video on that soon. I have to edit it. It's going to take me forever though. But there's some distressed jean shorts. They need to be rolled. They're too long. But they're super high-waisted. And then it has a burger patch on the back of it. Those are black. I mean, they go with everything. Then I have these teal ones. Now, these two pairs of shorts are actually too big in general. Can you see what I'm saying? So I have to wear a belt with these because they're too baggy on me. But they're ripped. And I DIY'd these too. So there's holes all over them. And I love it so much. Then on the back, there's just this little skull patch. And I will be wearing the tie-dye shirts with this because of the color of the patch and stuff. Uh, this is so bad. I'm sorry. <laughs> Ooh, my back. And then I got these ones that I made too. Oh, I'm having some major back pain right now. Well, where'd that come from? <laughs> it's probably because I'm hunched. But I'm not even centered in the video. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, these ones have a little bomb patch on it too. These ones are too big, obviously, too. I have to fabric glue them down. Um, but I... DIY these and then I put a bunch of rips on them and everything. I definitely wasn't very um, worried about the holes because I don't know. And now my swimsuit stuff. Now I got all those shorts from Salvation Army actually. I usually, if I tear up shorts, that's the only place I'm allowed to get them from and tear them up. So. For my swimsuit. This kind of reminds me of like some kind of like a princess thing. And it's super freaking cute. And it's got this and then like the it's very cinched, so it hides the unnecessary, unwanted areas. And then the skirt, super pretty. Now the under, I like how blue. I kind of wish there was more of that color on top. But it's super freaking cute, and I love this so much, and it makes me feel really pretty, and I like it a lot. Now I have a cover-up that goes, not goes with it, but I'm wearing with it. Um, this came from Salvation Army. My mom actually tried it on for herself, but then she ended up letting me try it on, so... I could wear it now it's a little bit too big on me but I don't really give a crap and it's really cute I mean it fits pretty well over top of my swimsuit but it's really long and it's longer than that and it covers up my arms and stuff so that's not hanging out um I'm not gonna show you underwear because it's not necessary to show you that oh but the bralettes that I'm bringing oh yes let me just dig those out okay so the first one it's very sheer but here this is the back of it it's just got all these like straps and stuff and the front's got all those straps and stuff so that's very very sheer unnecessary but this one covers a lot it's almost like a little like a really small crop top velvet crushed that black velvet and it's super cute i'll be wearing this with my velvet dress hold on i'm sorry i gotta check my phone to see if it's not gonna die during the video sorry um I have my phone taped to my bed if you're curious how that's sitting right there. <laughs> Tape. Um, but <laughs> yeah, this is so super cute. And I'll probably wear this with like my um, Bring Me the Horizon tank top or crop top. And then this one is, oh, I love it so much. And it's just got this like little mesh piece here and then it's mesh on the back. And uh, these cups, like it fits chest wise, but the cups are not accurate. <laughs> <laughs> like what is that gonna do for me besides create some weird awkward line that I don't want but anyways I was supposed to do a DIY on this I'm sorry I'm gonna sit somewhat centered but I was supposed to do a DIY video on this but I was so antsy to get it done I didn't do one <laughs> that's like my problem with everything um I need to trim the belt on this because it's way too long but I have a holographic well almost holographic Oh, actually, no, I think it is holographic fanny pack. Uh, I made this. It looks kind of weird, like a misshapen banana. But it's okay, and I love it because it's cute as heck. But if you see the back, it's like one of those reversible sequin purse pouch things, you know. I actually have a crap ton of this fabric, and I'm obsessed with it, and I haven't been able to use it that much. Because my actually, my sewing machines are not really meant for it, so I bent the needle trying to make this. But it's fully functioning. I can fit my phone. 
um, chapstick, whatever, on the inside. It's like this very silky silver material, so it's really cute. Um, I paid like 30 bucks for this fabric. It was expensive. Um, I just got this makeup bag. It's kind of misshapen because of how it was packaged or whatever. But it's just this little makeup bag that has XOXO on it. Really cute. It's like neon and orange and stuff. This is all my makeup. I'm not going to take it out because you can see what's in it. So, or kind of. But I have, you know, highlighter. Um, I don't wear... I do not wear um, concealer because, A, I don't feel like my face has that many blemishes that I care about to have to cover it up, so it's not really a problem for me, so I don't really, and plus I don't want to look like a cake, so I just leave it off my face. And um, I, I usually just use highlighter, eyebrow stuff, and then um, eyeshadow, and maybe like lip gloss, but that's like your most basic stuff. It's like grade school makeup, but it's okay. This is... Um, has like my face wash, um, like one of those scrub brushes that you use. I freaking love this thing. You know, one of those things. Um, you know, for all that to get to get whatever makeup's on my face off and stuff. That's all that is: deodorant, feminine stuff, makeup mirror. You know, just the usual hair stuff. And we found these at Walmart for fifty cents each, and they're just like little travel case. Clean and clear, deep action, you know, acne things. So those are nice. But this is really cool. I have a matching pouch for that, but I don't know where it went. Um, Lord help me. These are my makeup brushes. I forgot. But the you guys have already seen these. But I actually got some more. Like, my mom bought me these blue ones. And it came in, like, a set of, like, a lot. And this is just, like, the color of them. And uh, these are the ones I'm going to be using. Not very many, but kind of enough you know the works then I have my lanyard that I have to keep my stuff in because when you're in a cruise they have all these cards and these things that you need so I have lanyard and like a little plastic thing for whatever cards or whatever I need to stick in it um sunglasses wise <laughs> I'm coming back with my sun my cat glasses I freaking love these things they're my absolute favorite pair they're from Hot Topic they're probably the most cheaply made things ever but I like these things because they're really cute and I feel like it's like my pre-emo stage when I wore all black. And so, and when I say emo, please don't be offended and please don't get upset with me. I don't mean it directly like that. It's just when I wore a lot of darker colors and uh, I was a more depressed young child. And so I wore my feelings. <laughs> I wore dark colors. Um, This bag from Claire's actually is holding all of my jewelry and I'm really excited I'm gonna show you my necklace in here it's super cute um I didn't have a chain for it so I just got this little cord on it but it's this rock and it's super pretty and I'm really excited I'm like so happy right now I'm kind of like I don't know it hasn't hit me yet that I'm going on a cruise so like it'll slap me in the face someday when I wake up um Portable charger is a necessity. I'm not going to be able to use this cord on it because it doesn't work with my phone. I'll have one though. Um, <laughs> I have my Someday Justin Bieber stuff. I love this stuff so much. So I have the perfume I'm going to wear and then I have lotion. I don't know if I'll bring the lotion or not because it's not like it's a necessity or anything. Deodorant retainer. That stuff. Um, this holds like all my hair accessories and I actually got this at... Cracker Barrel, 99 cents for the little bag. But I have my two bows. This little hair foopy thing, I don't know. Um, This is a little hair clip, so when I go to that one fancy dinner, I'm going to put this in my hair and be all schmancy. Then I have this other hair bow thing. You basically just wrap it on your ponytail and it gives this little poof off and it's super freaking cute. And I'm obsessed. I've had these since like 8th grade and I wore them all the freaking time. Oh, I love them. I can't find my white one, but I love them. Um, hairbrush, the usual. I'm not wearing that makeup, actually. I chose not to bring 8,000 things. Shoes, I'm just wearing my regular Converse. They're dirty as heck, but I just need some regular shoes that aren't going to kill my feet. There we go. This, so I can, oh, curl my little hairs, and, because I can't curl it with an actual curling iron, because of... 
the lovely way that my hair might burn or singe off. I have a hairbrush, nothing special, but my shoes, I'm only bringing two pairs of shoes, and then my other one, the second ones I have are these sandals. Um, they go with pretty much every single thing I have <laughs> in my bag, so these are really cute. Um, I've had these for a long time, probably since middle school, I think. They're by Jelly Pop. They're really cute. I think I wear, I wear size 9, so, you know. And then here's my fabric glue that I'm taking. If you want really good freaking fabric glue, the dollar store has it. Just the dollar store. Um... Like, you can buy it everywhere else, obviously, but for a dollar, plus tax, and then, um, you know, it works like magic. It's amazing. I love it so much. And I'm sorry I sound so sick, because I'm still kind of getting over it, and I'm kind of, like, congested and stuff, so I apologize. But that is all I had for you today. I guess my bra on my hand. I am so excited. Oh, and I don't know if you guys can see this or not. Do you see that? all the hair colors it looks really bad on camera but there's blue and green and quite frankly it's all hiding from me but I have it in my hair and it's one of those peekaboo things so it doesn't look like like you probably didn't see it because see you can't see it now but as soon as I lift it I get my hair and it shows and I look like an idiot trying to find it but it's there and I'm so excited oh oh I cannot because I don't do anything with my life and I feel like my hair is all boring and crappy so I did something with it and now it's done and I'm excited. So yeah, I'm excited. I cannot wait. I've never been on a ship before. I've never been on anything that floats on water besides a raft and that doesn't really count. So I'm probably going to die, but it's okay. <laughs> I'm nervous. Oh look, there's Dorothy in the background. That's my favorite costume ever. I freaking love that and I haven't really dressed. <coughs> oh god. Excuse me. I haven't really dressed up in full character in a long, 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 long time. Like, since I was, like, eight. But, you know, I figured this year I was going to, last year I was going to go out and do something cute and stuff. So that, yeah, just. But thank you guys so much for watching. I'm sorry this is, like, a 20-minute video. But that is what I packed. So if you ever need, like, necessities, whenever you go on a cruise or any kind of vacation, you need to make a list down because I still have to get some things that I forgot to put in my bag. Um, but you want to make sure you have everything because if you don't have any, everything that you need, it's going to suck because, trust me, running into those kind of situations, it's a pain in the butt. I've had it happen before and then I'm like, you know what, I could be using that right now, but I don't got it because I forgot it. But, no, I'm like really excited right now. And I cannot wait at all. I've never been on a cruise. I've never done anything like this. And the best thing, what the best thing is, my boyfriend and his family's coming. And I'm like crapping my pants right now because that is amazing. What 16 and 17 year old gets to go on a cruise together, like relationship wise, you know, that they're dating, they get to go on the same cruise. But like, when does this, ha like, when does it happen? Never. And I'm super excited because, you know, you don't get, you just don't get these opportunities that much. And I'm so grateful to be able to do this. And I'm beyond, you know, happy and blessed to be able to do this. And I'm so excited. And thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys so much. Please like, subscribe. And if you haven't seen me before, I'm sorry I didn't say this earlier. But my name's Erin. I make videos every Wednesday. And if not, they come out Thursday. Because I have a hectic life. And I try to get them out whenever I can. So thank you guys so much. I love you all dearly. Thank you for another subscriber. Please keep subscribing. Please share my channel. Please get the word out because I want my family to grow. I'm super excited for every single person that subscribes. I sound like I'm going through puberty because my voice is cracking. But I appreciate you guys so much. So much more than you guys might even understand or know. But I really do truly am like I'm thankful for everything because to me this is it's amazing like I'm really excited to see how far I can go with this and to see just how many people I like I want to do a meet and greet obviously I can't just do it with like 50 people considering half of them are probably just my friends <laughs> but I want I would like to meet you guys some one day and you know we can all talk and hang out and like do fun things and I can talk to you guys about whatever and you guys can talk to me about whatever and that would be amazing if I could reach a um, hundred subscribers by the end of the school year, I'd probably cry. It'd be really cool. And for me, it doesn't matter if it's slow growth, but if it's my channel still growing, that's, you know, that's really cool and that's important for me. So thank you guys so much. I love you guys so much. Thank you for everything. I appreciate it. Please keep watching my videos. Like I said, they come out every Wednesday or Thursday if I don't get there in time. 
But thank you. I will come out with more videos. If I had more money, I would do hauls all the time because you guys seem to love those ones. Um, but thank you for everything. I love you guys. Stay strong and follow and like and subscribe for more content.